to another episode of the Rhapsody of Realities where we bring you the word of God that is able to transform your life from glory to glory. Hallelujah. If you are new here, we welcome you in the name of Jesus. In today's episode, our man of God reminds us that we are more than human. The theme scripture is taken from 1 John chapter 5 verse 11 to 12 in the New King James Version. And this is the testimony that God has given us eternal life, and this life is in His Son. He who has the Son has life. He who does not have the Son of God does not have life. Christ in you means eternal life in you. Eternal life is the life and nature of God. In other words, it's the God life. Notice the tenses in our theme scripture. It says, God has given us eternal life. It's not a promise. He's not going to give us eternal life. You have the life now. As a result, John says in the 13th verse, I write these things to you who believe in the name of the Son of God so that you may know that you have eternal life. He wants you to know that you are more than human. Your human life has been supplanted by the life and nature of God. This divine life in you has made fellowship and oneness with God possible. You are by no means an ordinary person. Recall the words of the psalmist in Psalm chapter 82 verse 6. He says, I have said, ye are gods, and all of you are the children of the Most High. The same truth is referenced and reiterated by the Lord Jesus in John chapter 10 verse 35 when he said, If he called them gods, unto whom the word of God came, and the scripture cannot be broken. We are gods because God gave birth to us. We are the offspring of the word. In 1 Peter 1, verse 23, the Bible says, Being born again, not of corruptible seed, but of incorruptible, by the word of God, which liveth and abideth forever. In 1 John chapter 4, verse 17, the Bible says, As He is, so are we in this world. Hallelujah! See, to live a successful Christian life is to know and understand who you are in Christ. Your identity is linked with God because as just we've read, As He is, so are we in this world. So take out time to meditate on this and you are sure to see the word manifest in you. Praise God! Wherever you are, you can repeat this confession after me. Christ lives in me. I'm the expression of His reality, His grace, glory, kingdom, power and personality. I'm the expression of His fullness. He is my completeness. It makes no difference what challenges I face in life. There is a force and empowerment at work in me to blaze through the barriers. Everything and anything I could ever need is inside the greater one that lives in me. Glory to God. Hallelujah. To go deeper into today's topic, I encourage all of you to study these scriptures given by our man of God. You can read 1 Corinthians chapter 3, verse 16, Colossians chapter 1, verse 26 to 27, and also 1 John chapter 4, verse 4. Now, before we end this session, I would like to remind all of us that the mission of this channel is to bring the gospel to the ends of the earth. So take a minute to subscribe to this channel, like this video, and share it with a friend. This way, we can transform many more lives and many more can hear the word of God and be saved. Thank you for listening in today and God bless you.
never received salvation, if you've never received Christ into your heart, if you've never experienced this life of Christ that I'm talking to you about, this is your moment. Say these words. Say, O oh Lord God, I believe in Jesus Christ, the Son of God. I believe He died to save me. I believe God raised Him from the dead and He's alive today. I confess with my mouth, Jesus Christ is Lord of my life from this day. And by my faith in Him, I receive eternal life into my heart, into my spirit. Thank you, Lord. For saving my soul. I have eternal life now. I'm a child of God now. I am born again. Thank you, Lord. If you just said that prayer along with Pastor Chris, congratulations. Welcome to the family of God. Rhapsody of realities. Give me your life for me. Every day my life made perfect with Rhapsody.